The moment I heard that Pelican had swallowed Pigeon whole, I wondered what would E.B. White do? The moment I thought of Charlotte Webb and Stuart Little, I in fact knew with certainty what happened that day at the pond. You see, that pigeon was quite the smarmy one and had it in for Pelican big time ever since he and his motley flock came on the scene. Pelican didn't mind so much, not like Pigeon could actually do anything about it. That is, until one day, Pigeon starts upping the ante. Though Pelican comes from a long line of proper English Pelicans, his ancestors, nevertheless, were brought over in cages from the Russian homeland. Pigeon gets in mind to start hammering away at this particular aspect of his nemesis, though his own forebears happen to come from some anonymous spot in Portugal, starts calling the old fellow monarchist, czar lover, commie, fascist, whatever strikes his fancy on a given day. Still, Pelican doesn't mind so much. Just a measly pigeon, right? Well, I tell ya, if there's anything that will turn a gentle pelican into a homicidal maniac, it's stealing his girl. Everyone refuses to believe that a mere pigeon could have found his way to doing it with a pelican, but we all know stranger things have in fact happened. Pelican caught them one night and was so incensed, he was speechless. Let that dirty varmint and his girl think he hadn't seen a thing. Then it was just a matter of waiting for the right moment. The wicked little flying rat separated from his pack of malcontents. Right before he walked over and scooped up his victim in his huge mouth, Pelican was heard to say, only sad tales come from those who mess with a pelican's tail. I can take you whole. It's dark down there, I hear. Oh, come off it. You eat fish, Pigeon protested as he turned to walk away. In the end, Pigeon did put up a mighty fight. Everyone with an eyesight could see him kicking and punching all the way down. Pelican looked downright satisfied when the fight was through and his digestive juices began their furious work. The only thing none of us can figure out for sure is where's the funny part to this story?